Good morning. I'm Anthony Sizemore. I'm the Chief of Police with the Cape Coral Police Department. Thank you for joining me. Um, with me today in our media room, uh, immediately to my left, is my good friend uh, Rabbi Yossi from Shabbat, uh, and also members of our major crimes investigators. Uh, I'm here to announce that yesterday, or last evening, uh, the Cape Coral Police Department made an arrest in the incident that happened at Shabbat uh, back on March 11th. Uh, since that date, as I mentioned in the previous news conference when it was discussed, this case was priority number one. And that went from not only the Major Crimes Unit, but all of our investigative unit, our forensics team, all the way down to our patrol officers. Everybody was focused on bringing this individual to justice, and we have done that. And yesterday, we arrested Marin Mark Raymond, R-A-Y-M-O-N. He's a white male, January 18th of 1972. This is his birthday, and he resides at 2213 Southwest 44th Terrace in the Cape. And since the 11th of March, our team has been turning over every leaf, um, pouring over electronic surveillance, digital surveillance, knocking on doors, talking to countless people, and trying to put together uh, the puzzle of this case. This was a very challenging case because unlike other cases, the video evidence that we have uh, was not supreme, and it really required a lot of uh, boots on the ground. And through that, uh, we developed uh, persons of interest, uh, ran down leads of many, many vehicles that might meet the description, um, served uh, numerous search warrants, and then it culminated yesterday uh, when the, the extremely hard work of our detectives, our forensics personnel, and the work of our patrol officers on the street came together. Our detectives made contact uh, with Mr. Raymond at his home. He had been on our radar for some time, and we were uh, tightening that grip on the case, if you will. And it culminated yesterday. Um, we have a, a, had a very good solid tip and a witness that came forward. Uh, we were able to put um, some holes in his story from an initial encounter that we had uh, where he lied to us. We were able to prove that, uh, coupled with all of the evidence that we have put together, we were able to connect uh, that loop or, or complete that circuit and establish probable cause. He was arrested. Uh, he was interviewed extensively yesterday uh, for the purposes of seeing if he was part of some larger network, some larger group. Uh, our partners uh, with the FBI were contacted. Uh, they have a very uh, hyper focus on domestic extremism, especially in the Tampa field office, which is where we, uh, in Fort Myers Regional Office, work. Uh, we have officers in that task force. We have a very solid relationship with them, and they participated with us yesterday. That part of the investigation is still ongoing to see if there's any other links to um, extremist groups or if this was a lone wolf uh, actor. So I'm very pleased with the attitude uh, of our department and our community, that we came together. We realized that this is a, a, a horrific act. It shook the confidence in the core of our community. This isn't something that happens in Cape Coral, uh, but we can't say that anymore. And that's pretty much with any type of a crime. I just spoke with you a few weeks ago uh, about a murder with multiple suspects. Um, these things do happen. And fortunately, you have a community that partners with the department. You have a police department that is very vigilant and, and focused on, on solving these matters. And we also have an elected body, a mayor and city council, that share our vision for public safety and provide us with the tools that we need, the officers that we have to have to work the street, the equipment that we need, the capital investment. Um, and, and I will note that a lot of the work that was done in this case came from our forensics and analytics unit. That analytics, analytics unit works out of our intelligence center. That right on cue, here's our mayor, um, that the mayor and city council provided the funding for for us to, to put together this intelligence center. And uh, it's, it's still being constructed, but it's functional, and we were working in that center, and it was a pivotal part. So uh, as I was saying, the, the vision that we have is shared by our, our city that provide us the, the tools uh, from the Intel Center. We have a state-of-the-art training facility that's coming to continue 
with this and the the work of our team with the, we did get a few tips in this case uh, not for lack of effort or, or want to by the community it's just one of those types of cases that there wasn't a lot of uh, tips or information to be had um, our officers put in a lot of work and our detectives never quit and it was on TV and then it was off of off of the radar partly that was us there was a lot of inquiries from you guys we couldn't talk about it because we were getting very close uh, but make no mistake that this team behind me it was there night and day 24 7 and it was culminated with excellent police work uh, yesterday so with that I will answer a couple of questions yes you First name is Marin, M-A-R-O-N, middle Mark, last name Raymond, R-A-Y-M-O-N, and our public affairs team will give you uh, all the information Thank for that. Um, are you taking questions at this I time? Uh, so back at the station, Matthew is wondering um, about this case, your last statement, uh, why the station was remaining silent until the arrest today and was not willing to speak about the case until now. Um, when you need information, you put it out, which is what we did, and we that just because of the circumstances of the case, there weren't a lot of witnesses, there wasn't a lot of quality video, there wasn't an outpouring of tips coming in. Um, we were able to establish uh, persons of interest. Uh, we, we, we found Mr. Raymond on our radar, and by talking about it, we didn't want to spook him, we didn't want him to go underground, we didn't want him to flee. We had eyes on him, and we were actively working this case. There was a lot of activity going on, and any mention of that publicly could injure the chances of an arrest and a subsequent prosecution. Thank you. All right, everyone. Thank you. I will send you guys the base sheet, photo, I'll have the date of birth, name, and then the.